Welcome to Schools Challenge TV. We have come to Bisley to find out about Olympic disciplines and how the CPSA think Rio is going to help our sport. Last few places for GB shooting team members will be fought at the Trap Championships in Italy this month. Back at Bisley, the home of British shooting, Schools Challenge regulars Heather Dunmall and Jess Allen are trying out the various Olympic disciplines. They have both gone through TSC's Young Shots programme and could be on their way to Tokyo 2020 if they get it right. Um, I've been shooting Olympic Traps since last August, so just over a year now. I think it's going quite well. Um, ups and downs, but I'm currently currently on one on and up, so trying to be shooting as much as I can. Cool Challenge Academy went to Nut Hampstead last year and shot a couple of weekends up there, so I really enjoyed those and kept shooting it. And then this year I was invited to join the Regional Talent Pathway, so I kept going through that. Long term, I'd like to get to the Olympics. Currently, I think it's generally about five years from, five, six years from starting to get into that level. So next year I'm gonna shoot the selection shoots and see how I do in those. If I get picked, it's a bonus. If not, it's good experience and then just keep doing the selection shoots and practicing as much as I can until something comes of them. I've only taken up Olympic trap for the past year, roughly, um, just giving it a bit of a taste over last summer and this summer. I saw the Target Tokyo programme and applied for it, and then they put me on the England talent pathway. So I've been shooting down in at Hampstead with Martin, um, and there's a good group of us that go there. I'd say it's, it's most enjoyable because it's quite competitive. Whether it's like a, a fun competition or in the Olympics, it's always won by just one or two clays, which is quite fun when you've got a group of people who are all the, roughly the same age. At first, it was quite daunting because there was about 20 boys and only about six girls, and we always shot separately, and it was all like, oh, we always thought the boys were doing so much better than us. And then they started mixing us together, and actually, we're probably about the same level as the boys, so, it, so it's good fun. So what is shooting these targets like? In theory, it sounds like it should be really simple because they're all going away targets and there's less variety compared to sporting. So you feel like you should be able to hit it and you shoot the same targets hundreds and hundreds of times and still miss them. So it just gets quite frustrating. What's Jess's top tip? At the moment, I'm sort of experimenting to which routine is best for me and trying to create my own routine so that it is exactly the same every time so once so when you go from training to competition it doesn't feel any different when you're shooting practicing technique is vital over the holidays obviously i've freed up a lot more time so i was trying to shoot twice a week but generally i try and shoot trap once a week if i can if not just whenever really i can whenever i've got the time i think you have to you have to be willing to practice as much as you can and also listening to others when they're trying to help you learn being willing to put other stuff aside and go out and shoot which is not a chore, is it? So, TSC organiser David offers a pound to the winner of a round of Olympic trap. Whoever wins gets a pound. <laughs> Heather wins, and of course David <laughs> hasn't got a pound. To make up for it, David shows us the trap pit. Olympic trap range is basically a hole in the ground. Um, you have, for Olympic trap, you have 15 traps. You have three under each stand that you shoot. So the first stand will be these three. Um, you will get one of these three all the time. If you have shot it a lot, you will know which ones you've had or which ones you haven't. Then you will move to peg two and you get one of these three. The, the difference between Olympic disciplines and sporting disciplines is Olympic disciplines, Olympic trap, double trap, and Olympic ski is the same anywhere in the world. You will always shoot orange clays, and that is so people can see it wherever you go. If you're against a background, if you're against a mountain, if you get to see, you will always see the orange clays. The other difference between Olympic disciplines and sporting disciplines is everyone has to shoot 24 grams. So it's the same for anyone. So wherever you go, and that is why 
you get a lot of people. That's why it's shot in the Olympics, is so it is fair for everyone. So it's the same thing anywhere in the world. David Dale is a shooting coach and a competition shooter. Well, I was a sporting shooter. I still am a sporting shooter. I still do a fair bit, just for fun. Um, when I came to work here at Bisley, this was Olympic discipline, so I had to relearn things yeah. quite from the ground up, yeah. really, for running Olympic disciplines and the Commonwealth Games, mm. things like that. Um, so I got into it accidentally, almost, by, by just being here. Well, I mean, you can have great fun shooting the domestic disciplines, um, but there's only so far you can ever go. Um, there's always that sort of glass ceiling. You can't go internationally, really. You can't get into the really big time just shooting domestic disciplines. So if you really want to get, well, ultimately the Olympics, but we're still talking about Commonwealth Games and World Championships and World Cups all over the world, competing with different teams from all different countries around the world. If you want to be in the big time in shooting, it's Olympic disciplines. That's really what you've got to look at. You've got to put your nose to the grindstone and try them all see which one just like i did just try them all see which one suits you best and then you've really got to just concentrate on that and you've got to put the hard work in it takes it takes five years really of shooting that discipline before it really starts to come together for you you're not going to be at the olympic games with inside sort of eight years if you're really lucky but yeah you've got you've got to give it the time it, you, within a year or two you'd learn how to shoot that discipline and then you need another three or four years to really cement it and get it really solid because when you go out on the world stage shooting with really big competitors they're shooting massive scores and they've been doing it since they were little kids so it's important to get these young guys and the girls into it very young Young, you know early teens would be great mid teens you've got to get into it at that sort of age and then you can really push it and go all the way and you, you all the way to the Olympic Games which is just the greatest accolade for, for any competitor in any sport let alone shooting the girls try out double trap while they're on the ground it all adds up to possible Olympic glory for Great Britain well last summer the uh, Tokyo, target Tokyo program was uh, established and there was a, an intake of people who wanted to, to be looked at, who aspire to be um, top shooters. And the fruits of that programme are shown this year in that some of the people who came forward through that are now part of the talent programme. So they're on a, a pathway really to well, towards Tokyo and also beyond because it's not a, a very short journey to becoming an Olympic medalist in this sport. Um, but there are also other intake days between uh, now and well, certainly Tokyo but um, there are other days happening in September and October this year. The details are on our website and British Shooting website. So anybody who um, believes they've got the talent and hasn't um, found their way into the talent programme yet or to any of the assessment days, have a look at those, get yourself along, and there's opportunities for anybody to be taken into the programme now and uh, supported towards that end goal. You know, that the, the ultimate goal of winning Olympic gold medal is a dream for many people, but um, it can be reality too. Find out more about shooting for Olympic glory on the CPSA website. And now we have Schools Challenge news. British Shooting has revealed the team selected for the 2015 World Championships. They're held in Lenato, Italy from the 10th to the 18th of September with the last Rio 2016 Olympic quota places up for grabs. Three members of the Ling family are going. Abby Ling is competing in Olympic Trap Ladies, Theo Ling is in Olympic Trap Men Juniors and Ed, who has already won a quota place for Rio, is in Olympic Trap Men. A 12-year-old has won the Scottish Universal Trench Championships. Harris Gun Club hosted the Scottish Clay Target Association's UT Champs in August for the first time, and it was won by 12-year-old Andrew Hewson, who claimed the High Gun and Junior Champion titles. It's now less than three weeks to go until the Oxford Gun Company Open Day. This is the perfect day to get ready for the game season. Try a range of new second-hand and demo guns from major manufacturers, including AYA, Browning, Winchester, Maruku, Cesar Guarini, Fab Armrazini and Hooglu, who will all be in attendance. Everyone is welcome, from clay and game shooters to local families. There is something for everybody, including shooting competitions, try gun stands, have a go stands, discounts on shotguns, clothing and cartridges, and plenty of activities for the whole family. Visit oxfordguncompany.co.uk slash news. Congratulations to British trap shooter Steve Scott, who is now ranked top three in the world after winning a fifth Rio quota place for Team GB, securing silver medal at the Gabala 2015 World Cup and winning gold at the European Championships.
Do you want to win a year's subscription to Sporting Shooter magazine? Simply answer this question to enter the draw. Where is next year's CLA Game Fair going to be held? Is it A. Blenheim Palace? B. Ragley Hall or C. Beaver Castle. Email A, B or C to david at schoolschallenge.co.uk. The winner will be revealed at the end of September 2015 on Schools Challenge TV. Now, sight is probably a shooter's most important sense, so it is worth looking after your eyes. TSC sponsor Keith Holland shows you how. So the message I'd really like to get over is that vision and vision problems can impact on reading and learning. If we think about how much of our, the information we take in in the world comes through our eyes, then it's quite logical that a slight problem with our eyes or our visual system is going to massively impact on the learning further down the line. The main three things that we find it, that impact on reading and learning are focusing problems. So if a child can't see the print clearly because their focusing system is not um, as flexible and strong as it should be, that's going to make the print blurred and they're going to have difficulty seeing what they're reading. It could be that they can't use the two eyes together well for long periods and that tends to lead to fatigue, they tend to get very distracted, they would rather look out of the window than be reading. Uh, the other one, the common, another very common one, is the eye movements that we make as we read across the line of print. Now there's six muscles controlling each eye. All of those six muscles have to be working in harmony together and the two eyes have to be working together in making the little jump eye movements that we make as we go across the print and very frequently those eye movements let a child down so they tend to lose their place, skip a line, read words again and that takes away the enjoyment and understanding of the story that they're reading. So those are the three main um, problems that we find, all of which can be helped with a combination of exercises to help strengthen the skills that aren't so good, and maybe reading spectacles for those that need support in that area. Um, and usually a combination of those two help enormously. For more about Keith Holland, go to keithholland.co.uk. That was Schools Challenge TV. We hope you enjoyed the programme. If you'd like any more information on what you've seen, like us on Facebook or go to our website.